Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 15 and compare it against the iPhone 8 and see which particular phone is the better one for you. Now, I will definitely tell you between both of these, the iPhone 15 is by far the better one, you know, for every single person out there. But I definitely do think the iPhone 7 is kind of interesting for how old this particular iPhone was and for how kind of like it's still kind of getting software updates. I'm sure there are a lot of people who have an iPhone 7 who are wanting to go up to an iPhone 15. And I kind of want to demonstrate some of the things you're going to be getting here. Now, if you want to pick up some iPhones, I would recommend buying this year. Thanks be down in the description you can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time now starting off with the outside the iphone 7 on the front has a 4.7 inch ips panel on it it's a pretty good panel i didn't really have too much to complain about i didn't really have too much to complain about it back in 2016 when this thing came out but it's definitely not that good of a panel anymore very small the iphone se 3 has the same type of display but it's ips you know it's a very outdated panel when it comes down to it the iPhone 15, on the other hand, has a 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display, and it is a significantly better panel in almost every single way than the iPhone 7. Like, it's not even close. You're going to be getting a much better phone and a much better display on the iPhone 15 than the 7. The resolution is much higher. Although it's still 60 hertz, it's a much brighter display as well, and it's just a much better phone when it comes down to it with the dynamic island and way less bezel. You're getting a USB C port on the bottom of the iPhone 15, a lightning on the iPhone 7. Still, you know, 15, you know, with the USB USB-C port is better, but you know, lightning port is still okay for the most part as well. On the back, frosted glass back on the iPhone 15, where the iPhone 7 had that standard, you know, aluminum back. I think the, you know, iPhone 7's build quality is still fairly good for the most part, but once again, it's not really even that close. The 15 definitely wins here. That dual camera setup over the single camera setup, wireless charging, you know, IP certification on both, but there's a lot of stuff the iPhone 7 is missing. If you're going up to the 15, you're getting a much better display, bigger phone, better battery life, better cameras, and including that, you know, better back and better feeling phone and wireless charging. It just makes sense in my opinion. The camera side, I mean, single 12 megapixel camera on the, you know, iPhone 7, 4K at 30, 1080p at 30 on the front of that. F the 15 on the other hand, 48 megapixel wide, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 4K at 60 on the front and the back of that particular phone. Very good stuff on the iPhone 15. You're missing things like cinematic mode, portrait mode, all these other things on the iPhone 7. And of course you can do 4K still on the 7, but it doesn't make too much sense here. The 15 100% definitely wins in terms of that, you know, camera quality as well. The biggest thing though is probably software longevity. Beyond everything else, if you don't have a good secure phone, you're probably not going to want to use it too that, you know, that much longer. The iPhone 15 is going to be giving you a much longer lasting phone on that particular device than on the iPhone 7. The 7 has already been outdated. We're still getting some iOS updates, which is nice, but for the most part, you're already outdated when it comes down to it. So you're definitely getting a longer lasting phone from the iPhone 15 every way you look at it. And that also comes down to the performance. Like you're going to be getting a pretty much old outdated phone on the iPhone 7. You have that Apple A10 Fusion chip inside with two gigabytes of RAM. The iPhone 15 has that A16 bonding chip inside with six gigabytes of RAM. So it's definitely a much better performing phone on the iPhone 15 than on the iPhone 7. Once again, like every single way you look at it. So beyond that, that's another big thing to keep in mind there too. Apps, games, everything you throw at that phone on the iPhone 15 is going to be giving you a much better experience than the iPhone 7. So overall, what I'll definitely tell you is the iPhone 15, it just isn't even fair. It is a much better phone in every single way than the iPhone 7. And that's just kind of how these things go. If you're wanting the better phone in every single area, I would recommend just going for the iPhone 15. I think if you want, you can also get phones like the iPhone 11 and above and still feel like you're getting a massive update coming from the iPhone 7. But that's kind of how I see this specific comparison kind of going. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.